Okay, so as we learned in the last lesson how to create questions, now we're going to create tests out of these questions. As always, in the same place, we go for tests and we create a new test here. Yes, the test name needs to be, as always, the same provider as ISEC. In the description, you can add a description. This is test checking your knowledge about introduction of team standards, training, maybe it will take half an hour. Uh, as always, we need to add subject team standards great uh, we leave this attempts allowed you can leave it un uh, blank and then you're going to have uh, as many attempts as a person wants or you can limit it to five for example here we do not change anything and we leave it as it is uh, here we leave it blank and here review level you can allow users to review questions and correct answers but if you show them the correct answers then uh, maybe they will just not need to use their thoughts anymore they will just copy what they saw so you can allow users to review questions only for example uh, here we don't do anything, we don't change anything. If you want to add any instructions for the test because you might think people don't understand it, it's fine. And we mark it as active. We go to the next page. We can put time limits. Um, and you can keep the time, uh, timer running if user exits this early, but please don't mark it because if someone has uh, problems with internet, this person uh, will have one attempt taken away for nothing. So don't mark this, but you can put a time limit so that people don't open extra pages, don't research. You can put, for example, I don't know, half an hour, or it depends on how big your test is. Uh, the default score, passing score is 80%, but if you want to, to have it higher or lower, it's also up to you, but I recommend you leaving this as it is. Mm, we should mark uh, allow the person being tested to save any progress because as I told you if someone doesn't have internet at some point then it will be fine, this progress will be saved and you can uh, put the maximum number of test entries, so not only uh, attempts but the entries, but we can um, leave it as zero because it will give us unlimited entries. Uh, we can also randomize sections and questions because we're going to put the different sections and different questions in each section. But I don't want to randomize sections, I, but I want to randomize questions. And I also want to uh, add weights to uh, the questions uh, in the test because I believe some questions maybe are more important and some less. If this is done, then we're going to add here and I'm going to add sections and questions. Okay, first section title A, for example, done. I'm going to have two sections, section A and B. Of course, if you do it, don't name it A and B, but name it, for example, building, performing, and closing, right? So that it makes sense because if someone sees A, B, uh, then they will be confused. I'm just doing it uh, for the sake of making this a bit shorter so that you don't have 20 minutes of uh, video. And then uh, I don't have my, uh, my questions because I didn't save them before, but I'm just going to add any random questions. In the first section, I want to have three questions. I add them. They are showcased here. I click them. And I see the questions here. In the second section, I want to have two questions, for example. One and two. Done. Amazing. So now I'm done with the sections and if you want, uh, you can put the order, but we mark the randomized questions so they will be put randomly and it's fine for me. And here you can put weight. For example, this will have a weight of 40. Um, this will have a weight of 40. And this will have a weight of 20. Together it should give 100, so uh, here we have 100, and here for example I'm going to give um, 30, yes, um, 30 and 70, amazing. And for example, I also believe that this section is more important, so I will give this section 60% and this section uh, 40. And here we have 100, so everything is correct. We can proceed to the next step. Uh, ah, okay, um, this has to be added together, so we need to change it into 30 and 30. Thirty, ten, and twenty, 
and this should add to 40 so now it should be all correct let's see yes it's correct amazing and we move to the next step which is the one that we had before so it's availability and remember to put the exact same availability as we before before we selected Egypt right um, and we wanted all LCVPs in Egypt so I'm going to add Egypt done and I'm going to add uh, roll LCVP right no exactly I'm going to add a roll of LCVP add done and as you remember we don't include subordinates because we want only VPs to have access and we don't mark pre-approved when it's done we click next we uh, skip pricing, we click next because we don't pay for the courses and here we click, we check if everything is alright. If everything is alright and it's failed, then we can click finish.